It's March 1st, so that means we're out in the orchard. We're looking for elongated male catkins and female flowers. Let's go take a look. These are the male catkins. They would have formed last growing season and are packed full of anthers that contain the pollen. While the catkins are firm and compact right now, they will eventually elongate, shedding their pollen, which will be carried into the wind to a receptive female flower, thus producing a nut. This photo, with the dime for a size comparison, shows the male catkin just starting to stretch out and elongate. Eventually, the entire catkin will stretch out like a slinky, allowing the pollen to blow in the wind. We want to track when the male catkins start shedding their pollen and when the female flowers are emerged and receptive to taking in the pollen for fertilization. Speaking of female flowers, let me show you what they look like. Now, it can be difficult to see if you're not looking for it, but once you start looking specifically for the bright fuchsia red hairs, you can readily identify them. They'll be very vibrant right after emergence, but will eventually fade in color and disappear altogether. We are a little early on the 1st of March. No signs of female blossoms yet, and no signs of catkins starting to shed pollen. I think I'll check again after the Hazelnut Growers Conference this weekend, especially if things warm up. This can be a difficult subject to talk about. I hope this short video is enough for you to feel confident talking to others about sex and hazelnuts. Please like, share, and subscribe.